Well, hi everybody. Today we're here in Sevierville, Tennessee, here at the Tanger Outlets. And we're gonna go in and eat here at the Chop House. We've heard so much about it. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Here at the Chop House, and they have appetizers. They have deviled eggs, sweet corn. They have char grilled shrimp. They also have soups and salads. They have a balsamic blue cheese chop salad. Ooh, that sounds good. They also have sandwiches, slope roasted prime rib. That's sixteen dollars. So here's their steaks. They got filet mignon. They have ribeye. They have T-bone. They have prime rib. They have lamb chops, and they range around $30 on the high end. They also have pork. They have petite pork chops. Looks like they're uh, $16, and they have a little bit of seafood here, too. Catch the day. They got steak add-ons, so you can actually order, like, some horseradish or maybe a skewer of shrimp. So they make their own dressings. And here's their sides. They got mac and cheese, they got mashed potatoes, burgundy mushrooms. That sounds good. How about steamed asparagus? They also have desserts. The desserts are $7. And here's their wine list here. Uh, it runs as high as Don Perignon for $200. You can also get white wine. So they brought out some bread for us and some butter. Look at that. And then we got some salt and pepper, which they normally don't give you these days, so that's definitely uh, different. Are you excited? Yeah, it looks good. It makes you want to dig in. We got our bread, and the lighting is really weird in here, so it's going to be kind of odd. Uh, but well, the bread is actually... <laughs> you can see the steam coming off of it. It's actually, yeah. The, oh, it's really sweet. The bread, you yeah. Taste the, the honey and the butter. The bread is real sweet. Well, our salads are here. Look at that. You got cucumbers, you got cheese, and some those Chinese noodles, I guess. There's also some bacon. Of course, you have the lettuce and some tomatoes over there. And I got the blue cheese. Now, all their dressings are made in house. So, and you got the exact same salad as I did, didn't you? Yeah, with raspberry. But you got the vas raspberry or vinaigrette, right? Right. And that's also made in house, too, isn't it? I'm gonna have put the blue cheese. Oh, wow, it's actually quite cheesy, I guess you would say, right? Um, what are you thinking so far, Dawn? It's good. Yeah, the, it's been very, very good so far. The service has been really good since we sat down. The salad is cold, and it's not wilted, and it's actually tastes fresh, doesn't it? And um, it's really flavorful. I would definitely suggest getting reservations here. They do take reservations. My steak is here. Look at that. Look at the potato. It's got bacon and sour cream and cheese. A loaded baked potato. Look at that ribeye. It looks really, really good. And and what do you got, Dawn? You got the prime rib and sweet potato. You got some au jus sauce, right? Wow, so the steak is here. So I got mine medium well. Um, it should be hopefully perfect. Um, medium well will be. I'll let you know if it's uh, actually medium well. And if 
delicious. Yeah. Right. It feels good, right? Look at that. tender actually uh, cooked just right got the right amount of warm in the middle what are you thinking it's cooked it's cooked it's cooked, <laughs> it's cooked. Dawn says it's cooked guys that's all that matters <laughs> as long as it don't move now it's time to get into that potato <laughs> And there goes the bill. I had a 14 ounce ribeye. We had two drinks at $3 a piece. Don had the eight ounce prime rib. And our total was 67.05. So here we are back in the Jeep and now it's review time. Review time. This review almost didn't start. So when we went in, went to the um, hostess stand and the hostess greeted us and then she went to go grab the the um the menus and i said hey can we have a a booth we prefer a booth mostly because we do the review and she got kind of mad at us uh she took the the menus and threw them back down into the slot and she said uh it'll be a longer wait and all that she was actually quite uh quite me quite rude actually and we almost left like we you know we weren't we just weren't going to do the review but we decided to stay I don't know. It was only like less than two minutes later. She's like, we got your booth. So we went back and the whole review changed from there. It actually got really good. The waitress was really, really cool, good. wasn't she? Yes. yes. She took she our drink order. Yeah, took our drink orders. Uh, the drinks came out immediately. Um, almost felt like we were being rushed because this is like uh, the fastest service we've had in a while. And... So you ordered the prime rib and sweet potato. And how was that? It was good. It was good. Prime rib was good, and yeah. the sweet potato was good. Yeah, I had the uh, ribeye, and the ribeye was done real well. It had a garlicky taste to it. It was actually tender all the way through. Um, I also had a baked potato, a loaded baked potato, which was actually put the potato over top. I guess you can't do much with the potato, but load it, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, the bread, that bread that we had was really, really good. And the salad. What do you think about the salad? The salad was good. It was a big salad, yeah, too. Yeah, really big. Um, and it was it was cold. It wasn't warm because <laughs> sometimes we get warm salad uh, quite a bit. Um, and everything was there. The taste was there. The, the sauces they actually make in-house. So, yes. And the food came out like boom, 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 boom. Uh, we weren't even in there. I mean, it was like, boom, the food was coming out. Everything was rolling. The service was over the top. It was really good. Um, wow. that This review had totally changed from being greeted to actually sitting down and, and eating. So here's the big question, Dawn. Would you go and do the Chop House again? Yes. Now, here's another question. They have a billboard in town here. It says, they are the best steakhouse in the Smokies. So, would you say that they're the best steakhouse in the Smokies? Um, probably not. Um, you know, I don't think um, that it was really good. And I think they compare very closely to the other steakhouse, some of the other steakhouses in town. Are they the best? I, I wouldn't give them that title. Uh, are they good? Yes. Are you going to lose by going here? I don't think so. Um, they're really par with the other ones in town. And I guess the individual person could make that decision on if it's the best steakhouse to them. But for our own personal taste buds 
and everything else, I would say uh, they're there. They're not false advertising that. But then again, there's some other stakes in town that are pretty close, right? So, or if not better. But gosh, that's a that's a tough one. But this is definitely a good steakhouse. Uh, um, so. so the value for this steakhouse, um, I would say it's probably average or just a little below that average. Uh, I do know other steakhouses that will charge. Uh, the bill would have been a lot more for what you got. Um, and I do know some steakhouses that are a little cheaper. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today here in Sevierville, Tennessee, here at the Tanger Outlet. And if you like this vlog, give it, give a, it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. We have Smoky Mountain Adventures every day. We do food reviews, hotel reviews, uh, Dollywood. We hike the mountains. And we let you know what's going on here. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Bye.